With the helmets fully painted, it was time to do the visors. And like we said, we had that 3D printed buck we can use for vacuum forming. So we warmed up our vacuum former and heated up some 1 16th inch thick PETG plastic, the clear stuff. We formed it over the visor buck. The process went pretty well, although we found out that some of the pet G we had had moisture in it and was bubbling. So we had to buy some new stuff. So even though it looks really easy and quick on camera, just know that this took us well, it took us a couple days. <laughs> Once we had a couple of good visor pulls, we could trim the excess plastic off and use a rotary tool to clean up all of the edges. The 3D model kit came with the attachment for the visor and the holes for those needed to be drilled out from the visors. Those same holes could be used to dangle our visors when we were dunking them in a vat full of warmed up synthetic fabric dye. This is how we dye our PETG visors. We have a whole video covering the entire process, uh, but basically you dunk them in the uh, hot liquid for about five minutes and then you cool them off and if the tint is to your liking you're good if not you give it another dunk we dunked it what three or four times yeah so after a few dunks we got that perfect orange color the visors were then screwed into the 3d printed visor holding hardware and then that hardware was assembled inside of a rail system that goes up into the helmet and lets the visors slide up and down. And that whole system was screwed right into the plastic and it held really well. We yeah. didn't use any glue. Mm -hmm. There's even a clip in there that retains the visor when it's in the up position. Very clever. The very last step was hot gluing some upholstery foam inside of the helmets to make them comfortable to wear and then wear them at Dragon Con, which we did. It was a great idea for a casual costume at Dragon Con. We even got some people recognizing the specific snow speeder helmet duo we were doing. And I'm looking forward to making the rest of the costumes. 